Hi, my name is Lori Boatwright. I'm an education specialist at the Blank Park Zoo, and today I have Marley, a blue tongue skink, with me. Now, you won't find her on exhibit at the zoo, but she is part of our education collection. This skink obviously got its name because of its blue tongue, as you can see here. They are from semi-desert, mixed woodlands, and scrubland habitats in Australia, New Guinea, and Tasmania. They can get up to 20 inches long and weigh up to 2 pounds. They have a heavily built body set on relatively small legs with delicate toes and a thick, short tail. Their triangular head is broad and blunt with scales that are usually smooth and contain small plates of bone. Their deep berry blue tongue vividly offsets against the deep pink interior of their mouth. Skinks have rather heavy tails and short limbs, characteristics that enhance their ground dwelling and burrowing lifestyle. The blue tongued skink is omnivorous. In the wild, they feed on berries, flowers, other plant material, insects, spiders, other small animals, carrion, and are very partial to snails and slugs. Here at the zoo, we feed them leafy greens, fruits and vegetables, crickets, superworms, and cat food. The blue tongued skink can live up to 20 years in the wild and 30 years in captivity. They do have predators which include the kookaburra, the bird of prey raptors, and snakes such as the eastern brown snake or the mulga snake. When a blue-tongued skink is threatened, it will puff up its body to make itself look bigger and sticks its blue tongue out to make it look poisonous. Another trait of the blue-tongued skink is the ability to lose its tail and then regenerate it. Multiple tails can occasionally be seen in skinks as a result of a partial break in the tail. Again, Marley, our blue-tongued skink, is not on exhibit, but part of our education collection. You might see her at the zoo during our live public presentations of live animal adventures, or you might see her at your school when she comes out for a show and tell.